Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Micah Let's Play, and guess who I am? I'm Micah, cause who else would I be? Guys, I am so excited. We're going to be playing Dead or Alive 6 on my channel today. Now, a lot of you might be wondering, what the hell, Micah? Where is Resident Evil 3? Where are your gamer discussion videos? What the hell's going on? Well... The video um, that I'm doing, I'm currently working on them literally right now, so hold your horses. And the other thing, guys, is that the camera, the original camera I had, my power shot, it messed up. I sent it in for repairs. I ordered a new camera off Amazon. Um, it was supposed to come like two days ago, but it hasn't gotten here yet. So if it's not here by the end of today, which is Saturday, I'm going to have to go. Um, figure out what's going on with it but amazon has already reached out to me and offered me a refund so don't worry trust me more micah let's play for resident evil 3 is coming i just need something to fill in on my channel because i don't like leaving people twisted in the wind it's just i just i can't do that i can't get down like that and i'm a bit of um a completionist uh when i start something one way i want to finish it the same way i started it so since i don't have a camera available right now i decided to start playing Dead or Alive 6, just as a little bit of filler content until more of my gamer discussion videos are completed and they'll be ready for you guys to enjoy. Also, guys, I want to talk a little bit about um, the PS5 case show. Um, and those what my gamer discussion videos will be on. The first one will be on Final Fantasy VI. Um, as you guys can see here on the screen, people have voted. And what people want to hear about first is Final Fantasy XVI, though I just previously said VI, but it's because Dead or Alive VI is on the screen. Then we're going to talk um, a little bit about Resident Evil 8, but also there's some more Resident Evil 8 content coming out. I believe on the 25th and 26th of September. So I kind of want to wait a little bit before I jump into it. Um, but I will have some content out uh, for Resident Evil 8. So don't worry. Mike is a massive Resident Evil nerd. We are making this happen. So with all that said, time to press any button. How about that? So, um, just so you guys know, I'm a massive Dead or Alive fan. Um, I love Dead or Alive. It is absolutely one of my favorite fighting games of all time. My favorite being uh, Princess Kasumi. Um, and I have been playing the game, as you guys can already tell. Um, I was playing this off... Uh, I, well, actually, I previously recorded all of this, but because... Micah was having technical issues, I didn't get the chance to do that. So let's go ahead and watch this prologue, right? Of the omens. One thing I will say about this franchise, I've always, like I said, been a massive fan of it ever since the first Dead or Alive came out way back uh, in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s, uh, featuring Kasumi, Tina, and Lei Fang on the cover. Um, and, you know, this game series have all, and like I said, it's always been just uh, near and dear to my heart. I always love this cut intro. Um, and this character here, uh, Neo, I, I, for some reason, I just don't like her. She just is an annoying character. But, you know, she's cool because she's got lightning. And there, Hanukkah, uh, she's another character I just don't like. <laughs> but we'll talk about them later. Um, and... Dead or Alive has been such an influential fighting game within the fighting game community for years. Um, and I really don't understand why Dead or Alive has gotten so much hate. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Tecmo, uh, who has uh, made this game, I really feel that they... Uh, they Oh, these are other prologues. Okay. Uh, I feel that they had done some very bad financial business decisions. So I agree with... Of people being angry at Team Tech, uh, Team Ninja for their most recent uh, financial decisions on all the DLC content for Dead or Alive 6, but the game itself, I've never understood the hate for this game, and I've always felt that this was literally the best fighting game out there, only second to like maybe Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter and some of the Marvel vs. Capcom games, and I've always felt that this game, and I know a lot of people will disagree, that Tekken is better than this, but honestly... This game is so good, Tekken copied this game. Um, and it all started from Dead or Alive 2, um, and then Dead or Alive 3 into Extreme Beach Volleyball. And I, when I do a discussion video on this, or a review on Dead or Alive as a franchise, 
I'll talk about why this game franchise has been so influential in the fighting game community. But let's move on to the secret mission that the annoying Mary Rose is about to go into. Um, and again, Mary Rose is another character. I just, I'm sorry. I, I hate to say this, and I'm not trying to throw, sh throw shade. If you like this character, you like this character. But ugh. I, to me, she's just like a pet, a pedophile's dream come true. And she's like a little girl. And in Japan, she technically is, I think, about like 13 or 14 years old. And they aged her up when they came to America. Like, oh, just look at her. I mean, <sighs> She's cute, but just no. Excellent work. Oh, it's Lady Is Helena. Is there something I can do for you? I love Helena. I she's just so beautiful, and she's my second favorite character in the franchise. But Mary Rose. I first need to know if you can The funny thing is, there's so many sexual innuendos in the way these two women were talking to each other. And it's just it's I find it absolutely hilarious. Um, I don't know, and a thing, one of the things about Dead or Alive is, yes, the women are beautiful and very, uh, bountiful, and, you know, they're endowed, as they, as one would say, but I've always felt like their characters get so much hate, and again, I understand, you know, these women, this game was designed to, you know, make tantalizing girls, um, for boys to play with, and girls as well. She's quite amazing. Yeah, she is pretty amazing, but we annoying. Need to make sure her power is not misused. I'm with Helena. Can I entrust this mm, to you? What a lovely, lovely I woman. Understand. Leave it to me. Um, and I've always just felt like this game got hate unnecessarily. <gasps> oh, there's my favorite character, Kasumi, the Princess Shinobi. Uh, I, I, I always felt that her character never got enough love in this franchise um you know i don't know i just always felt like kasumi just never got the full respect that i think her character deserves but it's okay kasumi because micah loves you and uh, again like i said you know when people compare this game to tekken you know it's because of this game's graphics um and just sheer incredible um combat system and fighting system i felt that this uh that this uh uh game just it changed them it changed the the landscape of fighting games across the board because if you look at even though uh you know mortal kombat went in a 3d uh direction and you know and other games fighting games were going in a 3d direction but a lot of them copied you know the smooth uh cgi graphics cgi animation and how the characters look the same in game and when you're fighting with them and dead or alive was responsible for that it was responsible for people you know falling off of oh you god this go bitch <laughs> For anyone who's a Mary Rose fan, I'm sorry. Marie, it's okay. You can let him through. I love Hela Helena. She's, I don't even know it's Helena. She's such a boss, man. Like, look how she walked in. She's like, oh yeah, let him in. I ain't like, I ain't tripping off this ninja. And so, how may I help you? What happened well, to that Helena, if you really want to know how you After can help me, but uh, that's a different conversation. Everything. I'm sure referring to money. <laughs> and there's Rig. Wait, who's this? He's awfully intrigued That's by Rig. him. He was a supervisor at the plant. Did you run mm -hmm. into him? No, but I would like to know where he is. He's now. basically what after a new you? man. I believe he is staying with Bass. And I think. I see. Sorry to bother. Well, I think he's intrigued. Rig. What is going on? Right, I'm with Helena. Rick, what you got? What you up to, bruh? Like, what's going on with you? So, <clears throat> so as this game continues to load, and you see that, you know, um, Hayate goes after Ryu, uh, goes after Rig because you know he wants to get in Rig's pants. I mean, let's just be honest. That's what the real deal is. But let's continue with our mission with Mary Rose as she approaches Hanukkah uh, for the DOA tournament. Um, and then again, like I said, a lot of the combat system with this game is absolutely, it's revolutionized the fighting game uh, universe, even with its uh, beach volleyball game. Oh, there she is. So we need to go talk to her. Oh god, she's so anime. I can't stand it. <laughs> oh. Yes, she's fine. She ain't bleeding. Nice to meet you. My name is Mary Rose. 
my goodness. Someone please shoot me. Even with that said, even though I'm complaining about Hanukkah and Mary Rose, I still love this game. Like, they don't destroy the franchise for me. I guess so. Context successful. I guess so. Um, but I, I again, this game has really just, like I said, revolutionized the fighting game industry, especially when it created Extreme Beach Volleyball. Now, a lot of people may not want to accept this as an answer. I'm going to go over to this section, this prologue right here with Rig, since we're getting ready to see him next. Um, and he's with his, um, he's with his daddy which is Bass. And anyone who, uh, who likes these characters, I know they're not LGBTQ characters, but it's just fun to tease and joke about it. Because there's always been an underlying bit of smutness with each character. Like, they seem to all have innuendos with the way they talk to each other, men and women. Because look, look how he's sitting right there. That's just basically eye candy for all of us to look at. You know, like, that's just... It's okay, old man. I'm just going to be alone and bored if I go back Yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides... I like it here. These two. <laughs> hey, let's have fun. Let's have I forget. Fun. I think these two fight in this section. Bring it on. All right. I mean, and also I will say this though, Rig is one of my favorite male characters. I've always loved his fighting style. And yes, I do agree he does fight like Harang from the Tekken series. But I've always been a fan of characters who do like um lots of kicks i don't know like kicking in your fighting style to me i've always felt was like a really cool uh technique like look at that Bam! like i just love his character i think he's just really really cool um but yeah and look at this like after he done beat his butt his um his daddy's but now they're off to go get a beer and make out <laughs> Trust me, I have plenty of these stupid jokes, guys. You've been warned. Uh, but the other thing I do want to touch on, um, as I said before, is that when you look at Extreme Beach Volleyball and you see how uh, when those girls, uh, the DOA girls, did their first um, Extreme Beach Volleyball game, although those kind of games existed before, but because of Dead or Alive, it created the game called Rumble Roses. Um, if you look at all the new female characters of today, um, like Street Fighter, for example, Street Fighter V, the fact that Chun-Li is wearing a bikini, again, it's not uncommon that you would see this, these kind of things happening. But, I mean, just look at these two. I swear to God. I just want to know when the wedding day is, boys. Just tell me. Um, I just always felt that. And see, look, he wants to get on the action. Look, he knows Rig likes it rough, so he's trying to get in on that action. Talking about mist. I know which miss you after Ayate. But um, you want him to be the new missus. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> he's tired of Ayane chasing him around. Um, how dare you? Um, and like I said, um, when you think about Extreme Beach Volleyball and you see all these new fighting games um, that basically um, subscribe to that, um, you know, the women being hotter than, you know, hotter than hell. Like, oh, this is like, like, really cool. Um, being hotter than hell. And, and you know, it's, it's going across the board. Not that these things have never been in fighting games before. It's just hey, new. Man. What do you think you're doing? Oh, oh, yeah, run to your daddy boy. <laughs> um, I thought this part was funny it's when he was sitting there talking nowhere. about, you know, he's saying it's all this stuff. He just attacked me out of nowhere. Oh, I just think it's funny because when he got ready to throw that barrel and you look and he's already gone, like, he's like, I ain't got no time for these fools. What was that all about? Yeah, what was all that about? Well, meet him in another dark alley. He'll sh He'll show you what's up. And there's Ayane. I don't know. I've always liked her character too, though. I, I don't know. I've always pitied her character in some way, but that's for another conversation for another time. But yeah, I, again, Dead or Alive is just truly one of the best fighting games out there. And I would argue with anyone who is willing to try to prove me wrong because this game has been far too influential uh, to the to the Street Fighter and, and fighting game community at large. Now, there's nothing wrong with you liking Tekken, 
better or liking these other games better oh i'm gonna pick kasumi because kasumi oh this is chapter three let's um before we go anywhere else Oh, these are areas. Oh, Brad Wong. He's another one of my favorite characters. Now, Brad Wong does, his door does swing both ways, which I think is really cool. Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, God, I lost my train of thought. I just do think that, um, that I think, Lord have mercy, my train of thought is gone. I was talking about this game. And these people, I saw Brad Wong and got distracted. See what happens to me? I have problems, y'all. I need help. <laughs> and also, I'm getting old, but that's another conversation for another time. How about that? And guys, please don't think I'm good with any of these characters because I do not know how to use hardly nobody in this game. I'm just basically swinging. And as they say, shit's just happening. How about that? Um, and poor Elliot. I've always, I've always found his character extremely adorable, um, and I kind of like the fact that he picked up after, uh, um, after Kung Fu, uh, no, Jin Fu, the older guy. I thought that was really cool that he was his apprentice. Um, but anywho, I just always felt like, like I said before, if you like Tekken better, or you like Street Fighter better, or Mortal Kombat better, and feel that they're better games... Um, to you, you're entitled to your opinion, as I'm entitled to mine. But when you talk about sheer game mechanics, um, I, like literally, even Soul Calibur copied this game's um, uh, character style. Even though, yeah, Soul Calibur is out, um, it's been out for a while, but Ivy is basically, she's just a, a dead or alive girl waiting to happen. And I've always felt that because this game was because it was so hyperly sexualized it took away from some of its seriousness especially after um uh tomo Adagaki left the series after dead or alive 4 i felt that the game should have been oh i love this character i love her Would tingu like i always thought she was one of the more beautiful characters and absolutely hilarious i think she's ridiculous and i love her for it just teach you something good Let's fight. And the character you see me playing with right now is my brother Matthew. That's this is his absolute favorite female fighting character in this entire franchise. Like since actually the beginning of Dead or Alive, um, he's always been a fan of her. Um, and with good reason, because Lei Feng is a really cool character. And um, Danny, if you're also watching, and here's another. <laughs> um, Danny's one of my friends from. Um, Twitter. He's also a massive Lei Feng fan as well. Um, and I've always felt that Lei Feng was a pretty cool character. And this part right here I love. Actually. But you see, there's a reason. Like she's so ridiculous. Your strength might even... huh? It's like basically that's the Chung Li and Morrigan of this universe. And I love it so much. Um, but yeah, I've always felt that because this game ha was so hyperly sexualized, it took away from some of its seriousness. Um, that if you look at Dead or Alive 1, 2, 3, and 4, it was more based on the Kung Fu versus anything else. And then when Dead or Alive 5 came, I don't know, it's like they went in a more silly direction. And I feel that that actually, it hurt the game versus helping it. I hope that makes sense. And now we're going to play with Zack and Tina. And I think I play with Zack in this version. And I, one thing I will say, I love the fact that their skin gets sweaty or looks sweaty in this. Because if you see in this upcoming cutscene, like, the way their skin looks, it's absolutely incredible. And look, no other fighting game does well, stuff like this. Governor. You know, again, yeah, you see an attractive woman and an attractive man, you know, getting sweaty, working out together. I get it. I get it. But at the same time, it's like, you got to respect the sure... The sheer, um, you know, graphic um, enhancement. Like, look at that. His skin almost looks real. Like, that's impressive. Their animations are impressive. And look at the hair animation. Again, Dead or Alive is not the perf It's not the world's best game. But it is. And like, you got to admit, this game is really goddamn cool. And um, there's quite, there's no game quite like it in the world. You know, Dead or Alive, it's, it's really, it's just, it's, it's its own thing, man. Like, look at that. That's just, that is just awesome. Um, yeah, it's its own thing, man. And I just think, 
that I, I hope we get a Dead or Alive uh, 7. You know, I hope this franchise continues because it's so good, and I've been such a fan for such a long time. I would hate to see a franchise this amazing go away because, again, look at this stuff, man. I mean, it's just absolutely mind-blowing. But enough of me talking about this incredible game franchise and game itself. I do want to touch on, as we go back, I'm going to go into Chapter 2. And, ooh, look at this. I'm so excited. We got to see Ryu Hayabusa fighting Rig. We went into Chapter 1 a little bit with these three right here. And as you can see, there's so much more. And there's more epilogues, but we'll get into those when we get to those parts of the game. Um, and we're going to continue with Chapter 2 with Hanoka. Uh with Hanoka and Hanako. Oh, I keep saying Hanoka. It's, <laughs> uh, I guess, uh, Hana, Hanaka, whatever the fuck her name is, and Mary Rose. <laughs> oh, forgive me, children. I'm so sorry. But guys, I do want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the PS5 uh, showcase we got. Yes, they are pretty. I agree. The sheer ridiculousness of this game. I love it. What was that? Like, really? Really? You saw her jump and you're just intrigued to fight with her? But it's a secret, okay? Ugh, just... I swear to God. This game. Um, so much pedophileness. Ugh. But, you know, it is what it is. And people love this game. I mean, and will love her. And I... I just, it's one of the mysteries of life. I do not understand why she's such a popular character. Uh, anywho. Um, going back to what I was saying about uh, the, the PS5 showcase. I honestly think it was one of the best. I think it was better than the PlayStation uh, reveal uh, with the stuff that they showed. I was so impressed with all the games I saw. Uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man, like, oh my god, like... I was so ready for that game. I'm like, please, it needs to come out now. Like, I need it now. Like, when PS5 launches, I need that game. I need that. And I also need... Yeah, are you all right? Oh, look out. Oh, now she can do the move, too. Look at that. Oh, such anime bullshit. I love it so much. Um, And nobody saw Ayane. Like, nobody saw her. Like, for real, you supposed to be such a... these. Or, I mean, these women are trained fighters, and nobody, and I mean nobody, saw Ayane lurking in the shadows. I would be concerned. Something about this just ain't right. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let's play this part right here uh, with Elliot and uh, Honika. And I don't know why, I've always felt that Elliot and Hitomi made a very cute couple, because he's British and she's German, and I just thought that, to me, I just think they, they're just a really cute couple. But this part right here, you honestly know why he's so distracted. I mean, Hanukkah shows up, and she's bustier than all Get Out, and <laughs> I would be distracted too, kids. But, nevertheless, going back to Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man game, I, I just love it so much. I'm so here for it. I'm a massive Miles Morales fan. Excuse me? No, excuse me. You got milk? <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. And it's so funny. I'm so mad he lost his British accent. Oh, look how cute he is. Look how cute she is. You know what? I would be okay if the three of them actually, you know, got together. And him, Hitomi, and Hinoka, you know. I love it. He's like, that stance. Now, he wasn't looking at that stance. He was looking at, well, I don't know. But you know, he was looking at something other than that stance. How about that? Um, I mean, like, this girl is strong as hell, man. And it's so funny, because she fights, like, everyone, and she just reminds me of Mokujin. Um, if anybody, if anybody's familiar with, um, with Mokujin, look at this. Damn! Like, wrecked his life, right? Um, but if anyone's familiar with Tekken and the character Mokujin, the wooden character that kind of fights like everybody, it's like they did that with her, but instead of making her fight like everyone once around, they kind of just got a few people's moves and put them together. And I just found that interesting with her fighting style, but it also makes me not like her fighting style very much. So now we're going to be on the ship 
Ooh, we get to play with Ooh, Lei Feng and Hitomi. Okay. So after we play this section here with um the master ninja himself, Ryu Hayabusa, this is where we're gonna close it off, guys, and then we're gonna continue um playing more dead or alive six later so yeah we just got through fighting with those characters and now we're gonna play with elliot on the pirate ship and i i forget who he fights in this section um i'm not really sure maybe it's oh i think yeah it's neo tengu um he gets to fight um and it's so funny because him and brad wong are friends and i i'm okay with them two being an item as well him and brad wong i think would be uh, like a daddy couple i don't know i don't i don't know i see weird couples and i was like oh i ship this so hey, hard and let's look at that that is you? just hey, that is wrong and here, right here. at the same time how about that <laughs> Oh, and he just dumps a dead body on him. Poor Elliot. <laughs> See, that's what you get, Brad. Would you stop that already? <clears throat> we should. I don't know. We still have the tournament, you know. I can't leave until I find Mysterious that mystery liquor. liquor. I'll take you with me, even if I have to do it by force. Well, I guess the little British boy is gonna teach you a lesson, eh, man? But um. So yeah, guys, so I'm really excited about a lot of the PS4 games that we saw. Like I said, Spider-Man was just so cool. And oh, God, I love the part where you see him like fighting all the guys and uh, he's doing his electric webbing. For those of you who may have never been fans of Miles Morales or maybe never read a Miles Morales comic book. Oh, man, he's just he's just a really cool character. And I, I just love him so much. And I just want to see more of him uh, in the Marvel Universe. I, to me, I felt that they should have put him in the movie. Really? Really, Brad? Yeah, just go ahead. Just pick him up. Just pick up your daddy. There you go. Good boy. He's such a good boy. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, there's too many in your windows for me just to not say anything on them. Um... Uh, but like I said before, I, I, I just look forward to playing that. That's one of be going to be one of my first purchases when I get the PS5, as well as um, uh, the game... Uh, Assassin's Creed Von Hala. Like, I want to play those games, like, so bad. <gasps> oh, we unlock something new. Okay. So, we're going to continue with Hitomi and Lei Fang. And H Hitomi is my third favorite character in this entire franchise. And, like I said, after this, we're going to play with Ryu Hayabusa. Um, and then we're going to wrap this up. But, yeah. Hitomi, look, Kasumi, Helena, and Hitomi are my three top picks in this game like they're absolutely amazing and then i would say chrissy and lisa and then Lei fang um but yeah i i just i think the the characters in this game are so cool and of course you know rig and uh brad wong and ryu uh and ryu hayabusa hey. oh look 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 i think this is it that's it i don't know what that is but this is the treasure it must be treasure then as promised Mm. Hitomi and Lei Fang. I love it so much. And I, you know what? I even shipped these two as well. I, they may not necessarily... Oh, I, I get to play with Lei Fang. I don't get to play with Hitomi. Oh, that sucks. But it's okay, though. Lei Fang is a cool character. Um. Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, and <laughs> the whole thing with the white panties. Oh, don't get me started. Yay! She won! Ooh, look out, Lei Feng. That part. Girls, I don't know why y'all in there in the first place, but I highly recommend y'all haul ass. Run, girls! It's so cute. It's, again, so much anime bullshit, but I love every second of it. Um, and I just, again, I just wish they would go back to the more serious days of Dead or Alive, making the characters more, re you know, related to the kung fu of it all. But, you know, again, you know, it's new leaders, new directions, and I have no say-so in the matter other than my purchase. <laughs> that's, that's my say-so in the matter. Oh, Lei Feng versus, okay, I unlocked, ooh, I unlocked some goodies. Um... And the sad thing is, I've been playing the game online and doing online fighting versus playing the story, which is why a lot of the story seems like, you know, it's new stuff. But nevertheless, guys, um, as I was saying before, 
Oh, I love this part. This is, I think this is like so cool. Ryu Hayabusa is such a dope character, man. I love his um his game uh, Ninja Gaiden. I think it's like such a good, um, really cool story. Oh, hey, it's her. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Then show me that grand power of yours mm -mm -mm. that echoes even through the Tengu world. She's so pretty. Oh, sorry, beautiful. I'm gonna have to beat you down again, love. Um, the funny thing is, um, Ryu Hayabusa is actually my other brother, Marcus. This was his favorite character uh, when he used to play Dead or Alive with us. Look at this. I'm like, fuck yeah, man. Like, that is so cool. There we go. Bam. And sexy is down. Um, but yeah, I look forward to a lot of the games. Like, look at that. Like, mm -mm -mm. that's just my imagination. My God. It's Somebody over. help me. <laughs> now return um, to your home. Now return Farewell. to your home. Farewell. Like, well, can I come with you? Like, what a rude man. right? What a rude man. How, How perfect. perfect. <laughs> this game is so ridiculous. I love it. But okay, guys, like I said, um, when I am done with all of this and you guys are going to get more Dead or Alive goodness from me and there's going to be more gaming footage coming from me, gamer discussion videos, let's plays and all that good stuff. So if you guys liked any of this content... I shared with you guys today. Ooh, look at all the stuff I unlocked. Be sure to do me a huge, huge favor, guys. Oh, and before I do my final closing announcements, um, chapter three is where we're going next, guys. So before I close any of this stuff off, if you enjoyed uh, this discussion with me and you're looking forward to all my other good stuff, you know, stay tuned. Like I said before, I'm going to be doing a lot of cool stuff on this channel. Um, and as this channel begins to grow, um, we're almost at 100 subscribers, guys. I'm so excited about that. So be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and remember Micah's golden rules of washing your hands, wearing a mask, practicing social distance, using sanitizer. Remember to give everyone love and respect. Remember all Black Lives Matter. And with that said, we'll continue with chapter two of DOA 6 when I see you on the flip side. So um, bye! <laughs>